A little while back I made a video about a couple of neglected railway stations in Frankfurt and a couple of you responded to that by saying, well, all the small stations in Germany are like that. Are they? All of them? Okay, well, I've got my local public transport ticket here, so we'll take a quick look at the rail infrastructure in my area. Let's go. If you know my channel, it won't surprise you to learn that our little tour begins in Schulköppen, which, amazingly, has a little station, the terminus for a branch line that takes commuters into Hanau for connections to Frankfurt. It's also the headquarters of the local bus company, so it's always busy here, and that means you won't see much in the way of vandalism or even neglect. My ticket, by the way, gives me unlimited travel on all buses and local commuter trains in Aschaffenburg and Miltenberg and their respective rural districts. This particular line follows the course of a small valley, which is why it has so many tight curves in it, and when it first started operating in 1898, it transformed the economy of the area. And while in recent decades many small branch lines were closed down, this one managed to survive. Nächste Station. But we're getting off at Alzenau Burg. As its name suggests, it is located in the town of Alzenau near a castle. A small castle, but a castle nonetheless. Maybe one day I'll make a video about the place, which will probably focus on the question of why they had to tear down all those historic buildings and replace them with Lego. The station itself consists of a platform and a small shelter, and well, that's pretty much it. It's minimalist for sure, and unstaffed, but it is, I think you'll agree, pretty well kept. There's no ticket machine, but that's because on this line, tickets are sold on the train. I'm actually being a little unfair here. This is the Karlgrundbahn. Now, it's true that the trains are operated by a subsidiary of Deutsche Bahn, but the infrastructure is owned and maintained by a local private company, which is very unusual in Germany. So, let's take the next train and join the main line. The Karlgrundbahn runs from Schölköppen to Karl am Main, where it meets the main line from Frankfurt to Nuremberg. Most Karlgrundbahn trains then continue on to Hanau, but this means they have to merge with all the other traffic on this very busy line. And that's problematic, because the smallest delay here can create a sort of a butterfly effect, causing larger delays in other trains right across the region. I won't try to claim this station is particularly inviting. The foot tunnel is dark and claustrophobic, there's no wheelchair access, and the platforms are showing their age. But it's not neglected. It's in good shape, and although I forgot to film it, it has a nice little cafe. Also, because random facts are fun, it is the station at the lowest altitude in Bavaria. The next stop on the line is Dettingen, the site of a famous battle in 1743, about which I once made a video a very long time ago. One thing that has happened recently with these small stations is that the old station house is no longer in use as a station house. Many are being converted into shops and cafes. This one, uh, well, fingers crossed. It's a shame to see it locked up, but you can see the logic. Most people travelling to and from this stop will have season tickets like mine, and for the rest, there are travel apps and ticket machines. Would there even be any point in having a ticket office these days in a station like this? 
It is a frustratingly long way to get from one platform to another, but that's not really a big problem. Nobody ever has to change trains here. And maybe more or bigger shelters would be called for, but apart from that, it was modernised quite recently and again is clean and well maintained. Also, it's future proof. There are plans to widen the line between Hanau and Aschaffenburg to four tracks, and to my untrained eye, it looks as if there's plenty of room for that here. It's getting a bit late now though, so I'm going to take the next train into Schaffenburg, run a couple of errands and take a bus back home on a much more direct route. This station was completely rebuilt about 10 years ago, but at this point the line reaches a bit of a bottleneck as it has to cross the hilly uplands of the Spessart to get to Würzburg. I made a video a few years ago about a new tunnel to relieve some of that pressure, but tentative plans have just now been announced for a very major upgrade to the rest of the line. So, why am I doing this? Well, it's not so that I can say to you, aha, you see, I told you, those stations in Frankfurt are the only ones in Germany that are neglected. Or even to say, aha, you see, those stations in Frankfurt are the most neglected in Germany. That's not why I made the original video. The original video was made simply to say, here are some neglected stations in Germany, and here is why these specific neglected stations are currently neglected, and what might happen to them in the future. It wasn't a general statement about the state of public transport in Germany in general. Now, I'm not a train enthusiast in the Jeff Marshall sense of the word. I couldn't tell you the exact history of the locomotive that just went past, for example. But I am enthusiastic about the concept of public transport, and I think that we need to use it more often. I believe very strongly that it was a mistake in the second half of the 20th century to build what Germans call the car-friendly city. Cars are fine, there's nothing problem with cars per se, but concentrating on them and building our cities to accommodate them at the expense of other modes of transport has done an enormous amount of harm. It's done an enormous amount of harm to our cities, to our well-being, and, as it turns out, to the environment. If we were to switch completely to electric cars tomorrow, every single person on the planet went electric, that would at least partially solve one of the problems associated with cars, but not any of the others. Now, there is no solution where there will never be any problems, but there are many solutions where there are fewer problems. And one of the best solutions so far is simply public transport. More of it. Now, I'm fully aware that there is even in Germany an awful lot of work to be done on updating and extending the existing public transport infrastructure, which is not always excellent. But at the same time, we live in a market economy. We, the travellers and the commuters, we have to create the demand for public transport. And that means even if it's not terribly convenient for us, using public transport as often as possible. The more demand we create, the more likely it is that governments will get the message and start giving us a proper, modern and efficient public transportation system. Also, I've noticed that uh, videos about trains attract an awful lot of views. 